guys uh, welcome back to Golf Coast Diesels um, today we're gonna be talking about this Pajero here I did a video video on mine this is uh, not mine but it uh, it's the difference is it's got a four it's a four door right here um, so it's a little bit different so it's gonna look more similar to a, um, a Montero naive Montero because it's got the four door uh, configuration. And also the two door that I did a video on that's gonna be um, similar to if they did a continuation of a, uh, a Dodge Raider and they didn't continue to make those in the US. Anyways, that's what it would look like if they continue with the second generation. So here we got the Safari seats can see them they are uh, hooked up by straps you can put them down to uh, hold more people which is kind of a cool feature you don't see this too much on you know other vehicles JDM's um, I don't think the Land, the Land, the Land Cruiser or anything has that uh, so that's, that's a cool feature on that uh, perspective of the seating arrangements uh this is all stuff that can't didn't come with it that is put in here um so but we got the flashlight going on here it's still in the original wrapping so that's pretty cool don't want to mess that up too much because that's that's a cool thing to have um so it's it's got a pajero uh snap which is nice kind of up a little bit um kind of cool i guess if you want to step up in there uh then we uh, forgot where the jacks are on this one, but uh, it's got vents here, and the seat does come up. So but let's go back here. So this is a year older than my '95. It's a '94. So that would make it 30 years old this year. I don't know what month it was manufactured, but you get the gist of it. Uh, this one is straight piped. Uh, for some reason, the uh, the uh, numbers for the uh, speedometer, odometer, and the, the uh, fuel gauges on this particular model are um, yellow, or orangish yellow in color. And on mine, they're white. So I don't know if that was a, you know, on a, you know, they change that uh, each year or, or what. I'm not too familiar with that. Um, but also it's got some cool Japanese um, stickers on here. I don't know what it means, but it's pretty neat. Uh, so let's go ahead and crank it up. Sorry about that guys, the the um, phone connected to the Bluetooth, but let me show a few um, differences between this model and uh, the, my model. So like I mentioned, the Safari seats, but it's also got a, a sunroof, I guess you could call it. It's kind of weird configuration here. It's in the middle of the, um, the roof which is kind of strange because it's in between like the the driver and pass front passenger and the back passengers but i guess you know uh it kind of disperses it i guess <laughs> i don't know whatever but uh yeah it's called power sunroof again it's kind of weird that it's in english since this was built for japan um you got controls here to open uh it's not really ever open but that's where you control it there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, same four wheel drive configuration as the other one. Uh, yeah, so all, all this is this basically the same, same transmission. Um, let's see, let's check out the back.
So the back is pretty neat. Got an armrest here and the seats do fold up. Let's see if we can get it in the frame here. Uh, I'm not too familiar with this one here, but the seats do fold. Uh, you got cup holders here on each side, on that side too. And uh, let me see, I don't know why, how these hold up. But uh, you also have back controls, AC controls on here. Uh, so it's pretty clean for a 30 year old vehicle. Um, let's see, what else? All right guys, so right here, I believe this is for uh, windshield, back windshield wiper uh, fluid. Um, and also, we got uh, the original tool in this one too, the tools for R in this uh, Pajero as well. So that's pretty neat. It's pretty useful. I mean, I guess in a pinch. Uh, so you got all the same stuff that came uh, from the factory. It's pretty cool to have. Um, let's see, I don't remember where the jack and stuff go, came, come, uh, is stored in this, uh, particular vehicle, but I know it has one, I think it might be somewhere around, around, around here somewhere, but I don't know for sure, uh, yeah, uh, let's see, let's, let's hold the seats down and see, check that out. Right, guys this is what the seat looks like folded down um, I'm pretty sure it folds up one more and um, butts up to the to the front two seats there but um, I'm not a hundred percent sure how to do it on this uh, vehicle uh, and I don't want to mess it up or get something caught or whatever so yeah you could see it does come up because you, you have the uh, secondary uh, uh, AC compressor or whatever going on under underneath there um so yeah it does come up if you're wondering about that uh yeah so um let's go ahead and put that up back up as i also did want to point out this is this is an exceed uh package so um basically what that means i guess it's like the equivalent of like a king ranch or a platinum i mean i don't know i mean of course this is back in 1994 so it was the top of the line basically back then for the pajero again it's kind of weird that it's in english <laughs> but uh yeah anyways guys so these these are um the uh they uh wash the uh the headlights they uh spray some water and uh i guess knocks the bugs off you got one on each side then you got the the japanese beer. Um, i think it's like to help you park on the curb help you parallel park um so that yeah the xc package it has uh i don't remember everything off the top of my head that it has I don't know, the sunroof. And then uh, I think it's got some seat. Um, some some seat um, functions. Uh, maybe on the driver's side. Um, yeah, I can't remember everything that it has off the top of my head. I think it might be the two-tone paint also. You know the green and gray i don't think the uh base packages had that option but yeah it's the same engine 2.8 bleeder i think uh i think this might have been the first year for the 2.8 then prior to that i believe it was a 2.5 so uh a little bit bigger of an engine but um, overall, they're uh, good engines. And uh, with these size tires, gets about, I would say, 25 miles to the gallon. Uh, of course, you got to do, if you want to, um, you know, calculate it out, you got to convert uh, kilometers to uh, miles if you're in the U.S. And then, um, yeah, so uh, 
but and also another thing for the exceed package i think the chrome mirrors i don't think the other um packages or you know had that so uh and i don't know about these um they might have came on everyone mine doesn't have them they might have been removed but uh yeah so that's basically it guys uh hope you found this video informative uh if you enjoyed the video uh consider subscribing and liking the video appreciate you guys watching thank you guys